Play what again, next? everybody. Part three. Now, what else have we dug it, dug up? Part three. I'd like to say to David Cameron, frack off, mm. Cameron. Right? We've already sacked you, but now we want you to frack off. Before, be careful because somebody might string up a noose for you. I wouldn't want anybody to do anything to you. It's like Geoffrey Bloom said in the European Parliament uh, a few months back, that when, the, when everyone wakes up to what's going on, they're going to come in here with ropes and they're going to string you all up and you'll all deserve it. Now, I hope that doesn't happen to you all. <laughs> the tears, I am crying. <laughs> but, you know, it's coming. So, there we go. Fracking will poison us. Okay, Cameron, he insists on fracking will help us wean off Russian oil. What about water? Russian oil? I thought we have Russian gas. Yeah, but what about water? Russian gas? Russian water? No, any water. Water just rushes hydrogen, through the tap for free. Hydrogen, oxygen, yeah. Well, yeah, basically, I know we've mentioned this before, and we'll add um, in the description below a link to ITM Power in Sheffield ah, in yes. England. And basically, they've come up with... Dust everywhere. They've come up with these devices that you can run your car... There's something flying around. You can run your car on water, you can run your electricity on water, and you can run your gas on water. There's no need for any of these so-called renewable energies. When you burn water, you know what it turns back into? Water. Correct. So it renews itself. You don't need wind farms, you don't need Russian oil. It's Russian gas, actually, so he's got that wrong. This bloke's still in so-called power. Huh. Who voted for him? Nobody did. It's a hung parliament. Yeah, it, right? it certainly could be. So... We've tried to call ITM Power. They don't want to know. Mm. Our other friend has got a, a, a mobile number for uh, somebody that works for them. They won't answer our calls. They won't but, let us go up to their factory. Nothing. But why not? They've invented devices that means you can connect it to your gas, you can connect it to your electric, and you don't need gas or electric anymore because you can produce your own from water. So why would they possibly not want to talk to us? Uh, because no money can be made and they won't have to invest the, the money that they steal from us in order to make a profit for themselves. And of course then you won't need the gas and electric that's been extortionately priced to, to everyone at the moment. As we've seen in the, uh, what was that, that one where they were saying they were extremely sorry they've let us down? I don't know which one. The, the gas, gas and energy suppliers were saying. Oh yeah, the energy companies. Centrica, we mean, and Sam Laidlaw. <laughs> <laughs> it's only one man and one company, really. It's, it gives you an illusion, doesn't it, that yeah. there's many companies because mm -hmm. of what? Because it's a, bit... it's a big illusion of choice, isn't yes. it? Yes. Coke, Pepsi. Yeah. So you can frack off Curry Sam Dixon's. Laidlaw as well. It's the same company. Mm. Yeah, British Gas, um, Northern Power. Or Scottish whatever they call them. You name it, they're all, they're they're all, all centric, connected. They're all this is why we, the one we did the other day, one bloke can turn it all off. Because there is only one at the top. How oh, dare you threaten people. So <laughs> now what we're going to do, what we're going to do, because you lot are greedy and use all this gas and electricity, what we're going to do is we're going to go in the ground, we're going to fracture it, fracture the actual planet, uh, to release shale gas, which will sneak into your water supply and poison you. But don't worry about that. You just concentrate on the fact that you're going to be getting cheaper gas. But wait a minute. When we discovered all the gas and oil out in the North Sea, didn't they say, oh, great, we've got our own gas and oil now, so we're going to get cheaper prices. I don't remember once prices ever dropping. Price has only gone up like this mm. and continues to. That's because there's only one in charge. Well, they're all in it together. I know we keep but, saying this. They admit it. But what? What? why would they need all this money? Any idea? Hmm. That's the Bank of England, that. Wonder why. Why do they need all this money? Well, it's normally for warfare, isn't it? Oh, well, yes. Because more, more, more money can be made. They make fortunes out of war. The bankers, the all of them that's all got uh, shares in all the different various companies. Do you know there's a new UK ultimate war machine being built? Have you heard about this? No. And do you know how much it's costing? It's going to be very cheap, I would imagine. Three billion. Wait, what? what how much? Sorry. Three billion pounds. Three billion. It's English sterling, mm. yeah. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. Are we not going through austerity measures at the moment? Are we not having to have every benefit and entitlement that we've got cut? Yeah. Well, three billion would certainly save a lot of these cuts bedroom, that we're going through. Bedroom tax, save a bit of bedroom tax, wouldn't it? Well, I think that would cover the whole UK. Right. Disabled people might be able to... Uh, to have a little bit more money to look after themselves. How, how big is this ship if it's costing three billion? Do you know, it's actually longer. I bet it's longer than that. Longer than the... <laughs> <laughs> longer than the Houses of Parliament. In fact, I've got a little picture there, look, you can see. 
can see the Houses of Parliament, 265 metres, and the new Queen Elizabeth class, hmm. yeah, because it's royal, right, as aircraft carrier, is 280 metres. Murdering well. class. And there you go. Three billion pounds, abor all aboard the UK's ultimate war machine. The Queen's put a name to this. Does the Queen go to war? It's in her name, isn't it? Well, you've got to get that none of them ever go to war. They send us to do their fighting <coughs> for Excuse them me. so that they can become richer and we can become dead. You're already dead, do you realise that? Of course. From birth? Yes. We've signed it all well, over. Not from birth, but actual well, anyway, registration. This huge, huge ship. Look, there's Johnny Osborne, right, to say that he's still in business. He's, uh -huh. he's like, come to check it all out. And, um, yeah, it's so big that workers have an app on their phone to, you know, <laughs> stop them getting lost so they can find their way around it. I mean, it's ridiculous, isn't it? Three billion? And what did you say? The government are doing austeri austerity measures? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they've got to pay government, back the deceit. The councils, or, they, or they should, the franchises of the government, should we call them the councils? They do, oh, that's it. They're all cutting everything, except for the money they have in their little bank accounts uh, abroad, which we'll be doing more, to, more hmm. on later. So, that's part three over. There's not going to be a part four. There won't be a part four over the next few days, but we've got something special lined up for a few. They well, may be interested. Well deserving. Yeah. So if you're interested in the videos that we make, I mean, we make all different ones. We don't just sit in the car and twiddle our thumbs and just do nothing. Um, we're having fun. We feel like kids again. But we realise something ain't quite right. Something not quite correct on this planet. Mm. And uh, as I've said time and time before, I, I truly believe. No, I don't believe anything. I, don't, I lie to myself about good and love. You should evidence. always believe us because we are talking like this. We are doing a turnaround of everything that's really not going on. We really don't know what we're talking about. But we really are mental patients. Well, that's the end of the break, Benson. Not doing that no more. We are mental patients. So take it or leave it. You know, if you don't want to watch our channels, don't watch them. If you see symbolisms on us, pyramids and all stuff, we're actually taking the George. Mm. Yeah, we're taking the. Okay, won't swear. So, under 18s can watch our videos if they want to know what's going on. So, basically, if you're interested, have a look around yourselves because. Uh... <sighs> the more you look around, the more you see. The more you see, the more you become aware. And then you awake to really what's going on. Mm. Thanks, everybody. We love you very much. Wherever you are in the world, have a fantastic time and be happy. Be nice to each other. Don't you realise that we're all one? We really are. We all each have our individual identities and personalities. But if I was to hurt, say, him, or if he was to hurt me, we'd only be hurting ourselves. But I'm not, So we're positive. You agree that we're yes. positive people? OK, we might be mental patients. You know, we've shown you the before that the tablets that we get prescribed. And, um, yeah, so you can take w whatever we say, take it with a pinch of salt or look into it yourselves. Mm -hmm. But basically we woke up to what's going, really going on and uh, we like to ask a few questions. So this coming week we're going to ask some serious questions. Mm -hmm. We're going to call 10 Downing Street as well and ask them what the Bank of England said last week. Ah, yes. Well, maybe we shouldn't give too much away about that. But um, we've also got uh, a court call coming. It's only a short court call. Where oh, that's great. I apparently get angry and aggressive, uh, but as always, we'll play it and let you lot be the judges. Yeah, you have a listen to that. Anyway, be very well, everyone. Be well, all. We love you. We really do, and we are mental patients. <laughs>